on a, on a travel channel on the television one time, a very serious Englishman uh, was reenacting the last commercial barge operation in Ireland, which was the, on the uh, canal, the Grand Canal, which went from Dublin to Limerick. And the last uh, commercial trip was, uh, had stacks of Guinness, barrels of Guinness and bricks to transport it. So he got the requisite barrels and bricks and set off on this uh, barge up at the Grand Canal. And the barge was making very slow progress and it was stinking out, belching blue smoke out of the back. And they went through a, a part of Dublin where there were school children on the bank who pelted them with uh, fruit and eggs. And they have finally had to draft a uh, policeman on to keep the children at bay. And the children were up on the banks of the thing, taunting them, shouting things like, hey mister, bring us back a parrot. <laughs> As if they were sailors. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, there's a bunch of songs about canals and they're all to just to taking the mickey out of them. They're just uh, It's not considered a serious bit of uh, work whatsoever. Um, I have time for a few more songs. I hope you uh, don't want to keep you overly late and you babysitters and all that kind of thing. Yeah. I'd like to do a song called My Paddy's Not at Work Today. You may have heard this. It's, uh, a fellow working on a construction site has a terrible accident and the son is in a letter explaining in excruciating detail what happened to him. I sang this once in Florida and I said if there's anybody who doesn't want to go to work on Monday, this is a song for you. I'm back in the office work anymore. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh dear boss, I write this letter to you to tell you of my plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face is deadly grey, and I hope you'll understand why Paddy's not at work today. I was working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. Throwing them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased in being an awkward sod, said I'd have to carry them down the ladder in my hod. Now shifting all these bricks by hand, it seems so awful slow, so I hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. <laughs> now when I came down, I cut the rope, the barrel fell like lead. But clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, but to my dismay I found Halfway up, I met the bloody barrel coming down. <laughs> now the barrel broke my shoulder bones to the ground and sped. And when I reached the top, I struck the pulley with my head. Now I clung on, no longer with shock from this almighty blow. While the barrel spilled out half the bricks, 14 floors below. Now when the bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, should I then outweigh the barrel and they started down once more? Still clinging tightly to the rope, I headed for the ground and landed on the building, bricks scattered all around. As I lay there moaning on the floor, I thought I'd pass the worst, but the barrel struck the pulley wheel and didn't the bottom burst. A shower of bricks came down on me, sure I haven't got a hope. And as I was losing consciousness, I let go of the flippin' rope. <laughs> now the barrel, being heavier, it started down once more. And it, and it writes across me as I lay there on the floor. I broke three ribs in my left arm, and I can only say that I hope you'll understand why Paddy's not at work <laughs> Yeah.